all right guys so uh, now let's let's have a look at uh, how we can uh, define variables or declare them in our typescript so there are basically two uh, ways in which we can uh, declare variables we can use uh, let to do that and then we can use const um, so what let does is that it overcomes the problem that we had with uh, with the keyword war uh, in uh, type in javascript uh, let us uh, block scoped and it does not uh, create problems like redeclaring and shadowing okay and then um, it needs to be declared before it can be used so there is no such thing called hoisting when it comes to let okay and then um, when it comes to const, uh, it has the same scoping properties as that of let, but it cannot be reassigned uh, as is not the case with let. Okay, but we can uh, still change the internal states of uh, const. Okay, and we'll see what that means. Okay, so I'll go back to the types here. Okay, and I'll just uh, save this and say create a new file i'll call this uh, mm, declarations.ps i'll copy this so that i can simply paste it out in the script tag here and instead of uh, ts i'll save.js i in here i'll run declarations.ts instead of types.ts so that it converts uh, and gives me the declarations.ts file or, or declarations.js file sorry okay so now uh, let's first have a look at let okay so my let variable i'll just define a variable of type uh, say number okay now if uh, this being defined I can uh, assign it a value okay and then I can uh, reassign it as as many times as I want okay but it has to be a number that's a condition right here okay um, if there is say a function uh, I'll call it log my lat where Okay, and then inside that I have uh, another variable my let var. Okay, and uh, the value of this is my let var equals. Again, this is a number, so we'll define a type, and then the value is one to three. And if I log this variable to the console. Okay, let's see uh, what gets printed. Okay, so I'll just reload this. Oh, so we didn't call the function. Uh, let me just call it log my let pair. Save this and reload it. Okay, so it prints one to three okay if i had the console log out of the function since uh, the let keyword the let uh, the my let variable that was created inside this function has a scope of this block itself outside this block uh, it won't be having any scope so outside this here the scope is for this particular variable that we have right here so the value that it's that that's going to be printed onto the console would be 43543 okay so we can just check it out i'll just comment this out and save this and uh, i'll just reload the page okay so as you can see 43543 uh, got printed okay so that's that's what uh, is the scoping uh, when it comes to let okay um, then we have uh, the declaration uh, 
the declaration keyword const okay and it has uh, again the same scoping uh, properties as let it's just that once you define a variable my const var let's say it's a boolean okay the first thing is that you have to always uh, define it whenever wherever you are uh, declaring it okay so if i declared it here i'll have to define it here i cannot do something like this and then my const var equals uh, equals true okay so this is something that cannot be done so we'll always have to um, do the definition part right after we declare it okay uh, that's the first thing the second thing is that if there is a const that it cannot be uh, changed as was the case with let right here okay so we could reassign let any time uh, a variable declared with let any number of times that we liked but that is not the case with const so consts are generally used when it comes to um, declaring variables wherein you might use uh, things like an api key or uh, any anything of that sort okay uh, that's the that's the second thing about const the third thing is that if suppose there is a variable so we had this line here right it said that uh, the internal states of a const are modifiable what this means is uh, if suppose the the way the variable is of type any okay um it can be an object right say with a key foo a value bar and then a key baz with a value boo okay so now what we mean by the statement is that uh, i can do something like my const dot foo equals abc okay and this is a valid syntax uh, and this means that the internal state that was foo i changed its value from bar to abc and that is uh, completely uh, fine when it comes to uh, creating consts okay so these are two declaration statements that we can use uh, when it comes to typescript okay uh, next up we'll talk about uh, the spread and the destructure operators okay so stay tuned i'll uh, see you in the next video thanks